Hey everyone, good evening, it's Ari Fold here. Good morning from beautiful Israel. We are in the south of Israel right now. We are out there saying thank you to soldiers and making sure that they know that people appreciate them and want to say thank you for all they do. I realize that when I debate people, they don't have the facts. And unfortunately, the right wing, instead of giving over the facts, many times you come emotionally, call names, use profanity. Don't do that. We have the truth. Use it. Can we do it now? Yeah. Come here. Sorry, my daughter's going away for Shabbat. Just have to give her a blessing. I do believe now that there is a lot of symbolism and a lot of meaning to a person's name. And it's not a coincidence. My parents named him Ari, which means lion. Ari dedicated his life to Israel, coming to Israel by himself and volunteering for the IDF. But it then followed him and he built a career out of it, really. I mean, he worked with organizations that would bring food and, you know, trucks and ISIS and donuts to, to IDF soldiers. And he literally dedicated his entire life, online and offline, to protecting and promoting Israel. That Sunday morning, I was at a company's office and I opened Ynet and I saw the video of some guy being stabbed and chasing after the terrorist and taking him down, basically. And I thought to myself, wow, who is this dude? And I put in the full WhatsApp group and I asked, is everyone okay? And Donnie called me and said, I think, I think the words he said was, it's Ari. What went on for the next few months in terms of, I mean, the stories just came flowing in. And, I'm, and I don't mean stories from like Efrat, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, New York. I'm talking about stories from quite literally the most insane remote places you can imagine. I was watching one of his videos once and people were writing in from all the different countries and his audience spread everywhere. There were people from countries like, I remember Malaysia, where Israelis can't even go to. Ari Fold fought for defending the Jewish people, for defending the injustice being portrayed about the Jewish people. Because he really truly was a giver of Israel and I don't think he even knew what a reach he had and how many people he was inspiring way before all this happened. It's hard to say what Ari left here because every part of our lives are touched by Ari Fold. We all look for mentors in life. And Ari is truly that mentor that I would want my eight-year-old, 10-year-old, 16-year-old grandchild to really aspire to be. Often I would ask him, well, what are you arguing with, you know, an anti-Semite for? He's, you're not going to change his mind. What he understood that I didn't understand is that it's not about convincing that person. It's about the millions of other people that are watching. He lived what he preached, and he died what he preached, and he died a hero. Probably like everybody else in this world, I watched all day. I watched the Leviah. I cried. They just seemed like the most genuinely incredible family, and they let the world grieve with them. The next day, Gabe called me, and he expressed how upset he was about what happened, and that he's good friends with Hillel. And we just both felt like we just want to do something. We don't know what. And we just started like brainstorming this idea of, is there a way that we can do something in Ari's memory in camp. Ari and his love of Israel, and Hillel and his love of Israel, and both their love of technology, it really goes hand in hand with something that we've been talking for a few months already about, bringing Israeli technology into camp, and it sort of all seemed to fit together. I grew up in camps my whole life, and uh, very familiar with Camp Moshava and Camp Moshava's message and story. And so I think if there's one camp that summarizes Ari's mission in life, and the advancement of the story that is the state of Israel, it's Camp Moshava. As camp prepares for its 80th summer, we look back at the themes that have been prevalent throughout the decades. And one constant has been love and support of the state of Israel. You came away knowing so much Hebrew and learning so much about Israel, even if you didn't realize that. It's so important every single day in camp to have another aspect of Israel. It's infusing that love for Israel and the love for learning and the love for Yiddishkeit into kids in some ways without them even realizing how much they're getting and how much they're learning and how much they're growing. Although I didn't think I was learning anything, I, I did learn a lot and it did strengthen my core religious Zionist values. When you're experiencing it, it's more than just sitting in class and hearing about it. When you're experiencing it, it's kind of like you're in it, like you're doing it, and it's it's really fun. 80 years ago, when Camp Moshua was founded, it was about the dream about building a state of Israel. And I believe today, 2018, 2019, you can't really give the complete picture about the state of Israel without talking about technology and innovation. And it's actually very exciting that Moshe Vaz, you know, leading the way here and taking this initiative and building this program. And I'm 
very excited and privileged to be part of it. One of the things that's so exciting about this summer is that we're going to be able to show them this whole new side of Israeli culture. They're going to learn about drones, they're going to learn about artificial intelligence and robots and, and blockchain and all the buzzwords that they've heard of. I'm going to explain to them that Israel is actually leading the way in all of these sectors. And I think in this day and age, it's important that the children learn all about the importance of Israel with new technology and taking that to camp. I'm excited to know what Israel and new technology has for us. Even one kid leaves with the feeling of, Israel is actually a really cool place to live. Because look at all this tech that's happening there, the mission accomplished. The greatest way that we can honor Ari's memory is by, by showing why Israel's great and not being afraid to stand up for what's right. Due to the nature of Ari's life and how he was murdered, there, there have been a lot of memorials and a lot of incredible initiatives. But this one stands out because, again, Camp Moshava very much stands for what Ari stood for. The fact that Camp Moshava stood up and said, we're going to start this new program in memory of Ari, I think is very meaningful and very significant. Camp Moshava Wild Rose has thrived and changed lives for 80 years. As the state of Israel continues to innovate and evolve, Moshava Wild Rose will be there to teach our children and our children's children for the next 80 years.